I know there's one Lord and one faith and and I'll tell it and I'll tell it everywhere I'm going to tell it tell it everywhere I go I'm going to tell it tell it everywhere I go I'm going to tell it tell it everywhere I go I'm going to one more time his name is Jesus Jesus everywhere I go his name is Jesus Jesus everywhere I go his name is Jesus Jesus everywhere I go his name is I amen I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ what is the power somebody say power to save those that believe and I believe that Jesus saves and his blood washes whiter than snow greetings and welcome to the voice and wellness broadcast emanating from Bethlehem Apostolic Temple located at 330 Main Street in Wheeling West Virginia and co-sponsored by Shiloh Apostolic Faith Assembly located at 3000 Weir Avenue in Weirton West Virginia these are the churches where the praises are going up and the blessings are coming down. We welcome you to join us each week. Order of service is as follows. In Wheeling, we begin every Sunday with our Christian education classes at 9 a.m. Our morning worship begins at 10.30 a.m. In Weirton, uh, Christian education classes begin at 10.45 a.m. And morning worship begins at 12.30 p.m. We ask that you join us for our midweek Bible class where our pastor, District Elder D.W. Cummings, will be giving an inspiring lesson from the Word of God in Weirton on Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. and in Wheeling on Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Come with your Bible question and receive your Bible answer. You can listen to the Voice and Wellness broadcast on WWVA 1170 a.m. on Sundays at 9.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. or on News Radio 1170.iheart.com on your internet or your computer or phone all over the world. Those are Sundays at 9.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. For more information on both ministries, you can visit our website at www.greaterloveministries.com West Virginia WV.org. Remember, you can also download our ministry app for iPhones and Android phones by going to our your app store and searching Greater Love International. Our special announcements we want you to know that it's time again for our adopt a student program the north willing community dream center north willing youth center are working on having an adopt a student drive-through program on saturday august 15th at 10 a.m we'll be passing out free school supplies on a first come first serve basis students should be present if you like to support the ministry or the Dream Center or any of those things, you can do that. There's several ways to support, either through the Greater Love International app or the Greater Love Ministry or Bethlehem Apostolic Temple website or Giveify at Bethlehem Temple or Giveify at Shiloh Apostolic Faith Assembly or Cash App at dollar sign DWC Ministries or PayPal at Greater Love Ministries or Tively at one for your shame you shall have double somebody say double remember you're welcome to any and all of our services at this time we're going to ask that you would stand as we uh, say our apostolic affirmation let us all stand and uh, repeat after me and say one lord one faith and one baptism Somebody shout amen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power. Somebody say power to save those that believe. And I believe that Jesus saves and his blood washes white as snow. Let me tell you something else I believe. I believe God is good when and all the time, no matter what you're going through, the God we serve is a good God. I said the God we serve is a good God. I said the God we serve is a good God, and he's worthy. Somebody shout worthy. 
Be worthy of all the praise. I'm going to ask as many of you as will, if you would turn with me to the book of St. Mark, the 8th chapter. St. Mark, the 8th chapter, and we're going to be reading verse 34 through 38. St. Mark, the 8th chapter, verse 34 through 38. You can either look at it in your own Bible or perhaps you can look at it on the screen. And I hope you'll be blessed by it and read along with us. St. Mark, the 8th chapter, verse 34 through 38. If you have it, can you say, I got it? Let's read it together. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. For whosoever will save his life, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world, lose his soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Can the church say amen? amen. And I ask that you remain standing as we're going to go to God in prayer. And I want to speak to you for a few moments from the subject, the test of true discipleship. Amen. Amen. The test of true discipleship. Amen. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Come ye disconsolate, weary, and worn. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And I'm going to ask that you to believe God. Don't believe just what you see in the media. Don't believe just what you hear other people say. But believe God and his word. God cannot lie. Can you say amen? amen. He says the word that has gone out of my mouth shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish wherein I have sent it. And I want us to sing, we're standing on holy ground, and I know that there are angels all around. Let's just praise Jesus now, for we're standing in his presence on holy ground. Then I'm going to ask Evangelist Christian if she would come and lead us to the throne of God in prayer. And then we will close by doing our 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 affirmation with our Bible. But let's re go to sing now. We are standing on holy ground. We are standing on holy ground. And I know, and I know that there, where are they, church? Let's just praise. Let's just pray. Jesus now. For we are standing in his presence. One last time. Help me say it. We are. We are standing on holy ground. And I know, and I know that there are angels. Where are they? All around. Let's just praise. Let's just praise Jesus now. Jesus For we are standing. For we are standing. We're standing. We are standing. One more time. We're standing. We are standing in his presence on holy ground. Let everyone.
everyone pray. Lord Jesus, as we come before you, Lord, we lift you up. We magnify you, Lord. God, there is none like you, none besides you, Lord. You're the only one and wise God. You're the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, oh God. You are our deliverer, Lord. You are our Savior, Lord. We thank you for your precious blood that was shed on Calvary, Lord. Oh God, we're looking to you, Lord. Oh God, we need your help, Lord. Oh God, I ask you to move in a mighty way, Lord. Oh God, bring a spirit of repentance of, uh, with your body, Lord. Oh God, draw us close to you, oh God. Oh God, we need you, Lord. Oh God, move in a mighty way, Lord. Oh God, help us, Lord. Help us to be ready for your soon return, Lord. Oh God, if this, we said anything, if we done anything that's not like you, Lord, take it out of us, oh God. We need you, Lord. Oh God, I ask you to rain down upon your people, Lord. Let us feel your presence once again, Lord. Move in a mighty way, Lord. Save, Lord. Deliver, Lord. Let souls be baptized in your name, Lord. Filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Speaking in another tongue as you give utterance, Lord. Oh, God, we love you, Lord. We lift you up. We magnify you, Lord. And we'll give you all the glory, all the praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Can we say amen? Remain standing, if you will, and take your Bible and raise it up in the air and say this affirmation with me. Say, this is my Bible. I can have what it says I can have. I can do what it says I can do. Every promise in the word of God can come true in my life. Today, today I will receive revelation knowledge, revelation understanding, and my life will never be the same again in Jesus name when you sit down and give God your best hallelujah you can't make me doubt him well it's you can't make me doubt him well it's you can't make me doubt him in my heart in my heart well it's you can't make me for I know too much about him well it's you can't make me doubt him I said is you can't make me doubt him no no you can't no 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 you can't make me doubt him in my heart in my heart well it's you can't for I know too much about him well it's oh yes I got the love of Jesus well I got the love of well, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, in my heart. Well, I'm church. I'm well, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Well, if you can't make me doubt him, no, no, you can't. All churches, you can't make me doubt him. In my heart, well, it's you can't make me, for I know too much of, well, it's you can't make me doubt him. Amen. Give God a hand praise, if you will. It's in the book of St. Mark, the 8th chapter, and verse 34. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Those of you that will raise your hand and say, send your word, Lord. I want you uh, to notice just in the scripture, in verse 34, that uh, Jesus had many followers. Some were just the people and some were disciples. The question is, which one? are you send your word lord there was a man driving down the highway and in his rear view mirror he saw the state police and all all of a sudden uh he started driving faster uh, 80 miles an hour 90 miles an hour 100 miles an hour and the police turned on the lights and the car did pull over the police asked the driver 
what happened? He said, I, I went crazy for a moment. The police said, if it's 4 p.m., I only have a half an hour left on my shift. I don't want to do a bunch of reports. If you can just give me a good reason why you were doing what you were doing, I'll let you go. The driver said, truth is, my wife left me for a state policeman a year ago, and I thought you were the same man trying to bring her back. Uh, never let what your eyes see determine what your heart believes. Never let the negative events that are going around you to influence you that God is not going to keep his word. I don't believe what I believe because of what I see. I believe because what I believe because of what I read in his word. I know that God cannot lie. Can you say amen? I am convinced today can be a defining moment in your life. You may have thought this was just an average, ordinary, run-of-the-mill kind of day. But God is saying that something greater is happening in your life. I believe God circled today on his calendar. If they, may, if, if they make it to this day, I'm going to give them an opportunity for a breakthrough like they've never had before. Somebody say, do it, Lord. Somebody's been going from weeping to rejoicing. Somebody can go from being broke to being blessed. Somebody can go from a history to destiny. Uh, today can be the day of your divine turnaround. Somebody say, do that, Lord. Uh, somebody is about to go from uh, go to a new level, uh, a new level of deliverance, a new level of anointing a new level of joy, a new level of finance, and oh yes, a new level of happiness. If you can believe that, say, Lord, I believe. Uh, God wants to do something so big and so bold and so out of the box that your whole life is about to be blessed like never before. If you believe it, put your hands on it and say, I know that's right. Uh, uh, maybe... That's what the Bible means when he says, I have not seen and uh, ear have not heard and neither has it entered into the heart of man uh, the things that God has prepared for him. Uh, you've got to know that when God begins to take you into a new dimension of blessing uh, no devil in hell can stop him uh, from doing what he said uh, he wants to do a supernatural work uh, in your life uh, every talent that has been minimized uh, God wants to maximize uh, every pain that you felt, uh, uh, God is able to heal. Uh, every dream uh, that you believe has died, uh, God is able to resurrect. Uh, every strength that has been hidden, uh, God is about ready to bring it to light. Uh, your gift is about ready to make room for you. If you believe it, put your hands on it and give God a praise right now. Is there anybody here uh, that's ready to go to the next level in Jesus Christ? Uh, are you willing uh, to go to the next step in the Holy Ghost? Uh, are you willing uh, to open the door that's going to help you discover uh, one of the greatest blessings of your life? Uh, you've got to know that you have a part to play in your own deliverance. Uh, God is not going to 
force a next level miracle in your life. Uh, he wants you to participate in your own miracle. Uh, you cannot do God's part, uh, and God will never do your part. Uh, but if you do your part, uh, how many know God always do his? Uh, remember the question that Jesus asked. Uh, uh, remember the question that Jesus asked the lame man in the fifth chapter of St. John. Uh, uh, Jesus approached a crippled man at the pool of Bethesda who was in need of a miracle. Uh, this man had been lame uh, for 38 years. Uh, every year after year after year. Uh, hoping for a breakthrough that never came. Uh, seeing others blessed, but always missing out himself. Uh, stuck in the same condition uh, year after year after year. Uh, has anybody ever felt like that? Uh, stuck in the same circumstances. Uh, stuck in the same problems. Uh, stuck in the same relationship. Uh, seeming like if it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Uh, but Jesus saw him uh, and asked him one question. Uh, Will thou be made whole? Uh, he had not walked in close to four decades, uh, 40 years. Uh, and he asked him, will thou uh, be made whole? Uh, I'm sure the man felt like hollering, yes. Are you crazy? Uh, of course I want to be made whole. Uh, but then Jesus made him to understand uh, you must participate in your own miracle. Uh, take up your bed, he said, and walk. Uh, what Jesus asked that man in John 5 and 6 uh, is what I'm asking you this morning. Uh, will thou be made whole? Uh, he's asking for more uh, than do you want to come to church? Uh, he's asking, do you want to be healed? Uh, do you want to be delivered? Uh, do you want to go to the next level? Uh, then you must part participate in your own miracle and not just be one of the people uh, but become one of his disciples oh clap your hand and give God a praise right now uh, there's a difference uh, between just being one of the people uh, and being one of his disciples uh, listen to what he says in Mark 8 and verse 34, uh, whosoever or whoever uh, desires to come after me, uh, participate in your own miracle, uh, let him deny himself. Uh, he told the man, take up your bed. He's telling you, take up your cross uh, and follow me. Uh, it now becomes clear uh, why it was so essential for Peter to understand uh, the cost of messiahship. Uh, you remember uh, it was Peter uh, that rebuked Jesus uh, and told him, you don't have to go through all of that. Uh, that's when he called Peter Satan. Uh, he said, 
get thee behind me, Satan. Uh, you don't understand what it costs to be a disciple. Uh, I believe this COVID-19 uh, has woke uh, the church uh, to find out there's a cost to being a disciple. Uh, you've got to be willing to do what others won't do. Uh, you got to be willing to worship where others won't worship. Uh, you got to be willing to give when others won't give. Uh, there's a cost to being a true disciple. Oh, clap your hand and give God a praise right now. Understand, if you will, uh, if he failed to grasp what he would never comprehend, uh, the cost of true discipleship. Uh, to be a disciple of Jesus uh, involves three things. Uh, number one, uh, a denial of of self. Uh, whoever desires to come after me, uh, let him deny uh, himself. Uh, you see, discipleship begins uh, with the desire uh, to become a disciple. Uh, everybody doesn't want to be a disciple. Uh, everybody doesn't want to be healed. Uh, everybody doesn't want to be delivered. Uh, some enjoy their sickness. Some enjoy their sin. Uh, some enjoy being being able to say, well, you know, I can't do that because I'm sick or I can't do that because I don't have what you have. Uh, but Jesus is still asking, uh, will thou be made whole? Uh, do you even have a desire to do better? Uh, understand no one becomes a disciple involuntarily. Uh, you must choose to be a disciple. Uh, you must make it up in your mind. Uh, I want to follow Jesus uh, no matter what it costs. Uh, I want to follow Jesus no matter who else don't go. Uh, I want to follow Jesus uh, no matter what people say about me. Uh, I come too far uh, to turn around now. Oh, give God a praise right there. Hallelujah. It means putting Jesus first. Uh, it means reversing some old attitudes uh, and making the discovery uh, that when we lose our life for Christ, uh, we really save it. Uh, anyone who hoards life selfishly uh, will lose it. Uh, life is like sand. Uh, the harder one tries to grasp it, uh, the faster it flows from your fingers. Uh, there must be a selfless sacrifice. Uh, the story is told, uh, understand, uh, of a Japanese prisoner of war camp. Uh, a group of men who were a part of the work detail on the railway had just finished their day's task uh, and tools were being counted as usual. Uh, as the party was about to be dismissed, uh, the Japanese guard shouted that a shovel was missing. Uh, he insisted that someone had stolen it. Uh, uh, striding up and down before the men, uh, he denounced them for their wickedness uh, and their ingratitude to the emperor. Uh, as he screamed at them in broken English, uh, he worked himself up into a rage uh, and demanded that the guilty party uh, would step forward 
and take his punishment. Uh, and when no one moved, uh, the guard shrieked as loud as he could. Uh, all will die. All will die. Uh, if no one takes the blame for it, uh, I'll kill everybody here. Uh, the show that he meant business. Uh, he cocked his rifle. Uh, put it to his shoulder. Uh, and took aim. Uh, ready to fire and kill them all. Uh, at that moment. Uh, a Scottish soldier. Uh, stepped forward uh, and said calmly uh, I did it uh, unleashing a whipped up hate uh, the guard kicked the helpless prisoner uh, beat him with his fists uh, still uh, he stood there at attention uh, the blood streaming down his face face. Uh, his silence uh, made the guard even more upset. Uh, seizing his rifle by the barrel, uh, he lifted it up uh, high over the man's head, uh, brought it down, uh, and opened his skull. Uh, he sank limply to the ground, uh, and there he did die. Uh, the guard, even after he was dead, uh, kept beating him, uh, stepping on him, uh, hollering at him, uh, berating him. Uh, the men of the work detail uh, picked up their comrade's body, uh, shouldered their tools, uh, and marched back to camp. Uh, when they got back to camp, uh, they counted all the shovels, uh, and to their surprise, uh, no shovel had been missing at all. Uh, that man died uh, to save the rest. Uh, and isn't that what Jesus Jesus did for us. Uh, he was hung up for our hangups. Uh, he was strung up because we were strung out. Uh, he died that we might live. Uh, he did no wrong, uh, but they hung him high. Uh, they stretched him wide. Uh, he died uh, to save all of us. Uh, and if anybody ought to recognize it, uh, it ought to be somebody uh, who knows the true cost uh, of being a disciple. Clap your hand and give God a praise. Uh, I said there are three things, uh, and I'm almost through. Uh, the first is uh, there must be a denial uh, of oneself, uh, and there must be a desire, uh, number two, to do more for God. Uh, he says, whoever desires to come after me, uh, let him deny himself uh, and take up his cross. Uh. Now, literature and art uh, had tended to glamorize the cross. Uh, and often we mentally picture it uh, as an exquisite medieval carving uh, of a magnificent European oil painting. Uh, but in reality, uh, crucifixion fiction uh, was a nauseating uh, ugly act uh, the Greek word for the cross uh, is a stake uh, when they first crucified a man uh, they would take him to the tree uh, the words take up your cross uh, are better translated uh, shoulder your stake uh, the man who who has shouldered his stake uh, is on his way to a shameful death. Uh, nothing worse can possibly happen to
hinder him. Uh, nothing can distract him. Uh, so Jesus says, shoulder your stake. Uh, take up your cross. Uh, serve me. Uh, you've got nothing to lose uh, and all to gain. Uh, let nothing distract you. Uh, there's got to be a resolution, uh, a willingness uh, to die to yourself, uh, die out to your will, uh, die out to what you want, uh, and say, have thine own way, Lord, uh, have thine own way, uh, thou art the potter, uh, and I'm the clay, uh, mold me and make me, uh, after your will, uh, while I'm waiting, uh, yielded and still, uh, somebody shout, have your way, Lord. Uh, Isabel Korn records uh, the first frank confession uh, of a missionary friend. Uh, the first few years of my service, uh, the Lord had to bring me uh, to the end uh, of myself. Uh, it is not until you go to your own funeral uh, that God can ever use you. Uh, you got to die out to what you want uh, so you can live to what he wants. Somebody say, help us, Lord. Uh, you see, getting there uh, is no Saturday afternoon excursion. Uh, it's bigger than we are. Uh, it's harder. Uh, we fall. Uh, I just want you to listen to just a couple people's testimony. Uh, a man by the name of George Mueller uh, was asked the secret uh, of his phenomenal success uh, in the Christian life. Uh, he could only reply uh, that there was a day uh, he died to himself. Uh, he said, I died to my wants. Uh, I died to my needs. Uh, and the only thing I lived for uh, was to please the Lord. Uh, a man by the name of John Sung, uh, who was an apostle to the Chinese uh, from 1928 to 1951. Uh, he went to a theological school uh, and ended up losing his faith uh, at a Bible college. Uh, that's where you usually go to learn more. Uh, but he lost his faith uh, at a Bible school. Uh, his liberal friends, thinking he had lost his mind, uh, placed him uh, in a mental institution. Uh, he was there for 193 days. Uh, he was very sane. Uh, however, with his brilliant mind, uh, he gave himself uh, to un hurried uh, Bible study uh, and he declared on the day of his release uh, his true graduation uh, he was in route home uh, apart from a trophy uh, he kept to please his father uh, sung through uh, all his academic prizes uh, overboard uh, he died to the promise uh, of a lucrative career uh, and determine uh, I just want to live for Christ uh, he ended up laying a profound influence uh, that started a generation of revival uh, there's a man by the name of A.B. Simpson uh, who's the founder of the Christian and Missionary Alliance movement uh, who tells of a lonely and sorrowful night uh, when mistaken in many things uh, and imperfect in all uh, not knowing whether death awaited for him in the morning uh, made his first full consecration uh, he trotted the lonely path of rejection uh, and when he began his great work in New York City uh, only seven 
people uh, came to his service. Uh, the point of controversy with God, uh, the tender spot, uh, was self was inflated. Uh, and while he differed from the individual, uh, he denied the process. Uh, Maybe radical uh, as it was with Jacob uh, and left some tangled mark for his life uh, until he came to the conclusion uh, I've got to die to myself uh, and then that brings us to the last thing uh, we don't like talking about dying to ourselves uh, especially as Americans uh, we want everything to go the way we want it uh, but that brings us to the last part uh, and that is recognition uh, that God is sovereign uh, that he does what he wants to do somebody say amen uh, that's what verse 34 is saying uh, whosoever desires uh, to come after me uh, let him deny himself uh, and follow me uh. the thought is simple enough uh, and we can understand by anyone who has played uh, follow the leader uh. there's one simple rule uh, follow the leader uh, and do exactly as they do uh. no one must shrink from going where the leader has gone uh. Uh, ultimately for the Christian uh, this becomes the real hope of heaven uh, since our leaders gone to heaven uh, we want to go there too uh, there has to be a real commitment uh, to Jesus Christ uh, I want you to understand uh, as I get ready to close uh, that F.B. Meyer once shared a room uh, with a man by the name of C.T. Studd. Uh, he woke up one morning uh, at 7 o'clock uh, and he saw the bent figure uh, of his friend C.T. Stubb uh, and a light uh, that was flickering like a candle. Uh, his university scarf uh, was wrapped around his neck. Uh, he asked him, how long uh, have you been up, Charlie? Uh, he replied, I've been up uh, since 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, what on earth uh, have you been doing for the last three hours? Uh, he answered, I've been going through the New Testament uh, in light of the command of my Savior. Uh, if you love me, uh, keep my commandments. Uh, and I've been checking off every commandment that I've obeyed. Uh, he said, well, how? How can you how can I be like you? Uh, Stud pointed out the need uh, to be fully surrender to Christ uh, in every area of your life uh, in order for the Holy Spirit uh, to radiate through your life. Uh, it was then that Meyer realized uh, that he had counted over every key of his life except one. Uh, his ability to preach. Uh, Stud reminded him uh, if you don't trust the Lord uh, in all uh, you don't trust him at all. Uh, you see, God doesn't just want a part of you. Uh, he wants all of you. Uh, he doesn't just want you on Sunday morning, uh, but he wants you Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, every day with Jesus uh, has got to be sweeter uh, than the day before. Uh, you see, if you really have a testimony uh, that the devil can't take away from you, uh, no one has to beg you to praise the Lord. Uh, no one has to beg you to serve him. Uh, no one has to beg you to lift him up. Uh, you don't have to come uh, and be begged to carry your cross. Uh, you know you got a cross uh, that you've got to bear. Uh, but even with my cross, uh, 
I'll still praise him. I'll still lift him up. I'll still give him glory. I come to let you know you don't have to just shout on somebody else's testimony. God's got a testimony just for you. Look where he brought me from. Look where he brought me from. He brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. I want you to understand if you believe God still does miracles. I just want you to shout out right now. I believe in miracles. I said I said I believe in miracles. If you really believe it, I want somebody to shout out. There's a miracle coming to my house. Say it like you believe it. There's a miracle coming to my house. If you believe it, shout there's healing coming to my house. There's deliverance coming to my house. There's a financial blessing coming to my house. There's joy coming to my house. Coming to my house, uh, there's peace uh, coming to my house. Uh, I come too far uh, to turn around now. Uh, God's about ready uh, to change your life. Uh, you may have been told uh, you're waiting on God, uh, but the truth today, uh, you're not waiting on God. Uh, God uh, is waiting on you. Uh, Participate in your own miracle. Participate in your own breakthrough. Participate in your own deliverance. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, clap your hand and praise him. You must understand the cost of real discipleship. You must make the choice to put Christ first in all you do. And this I guarantee, if you take care of the king's business, the king will take care of yours. You will never do more for God than what God can do for you. Can you say amen? I don't know about you. God keeps all his promises. But you must know the true cost of discipleship. They sung a song when I was growing up. Give me 30 seconds. All he wants is you. Nothing less will do. Not just a part. He wants all of your heart. All he wants is you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have kept different things from you, but we wanted everything from you. We have served you half-heartedly, but we wanted the whole miracle. Help us to participate in our own miracle by doing everything not just part, not just half, not even 99 and a half. It won't do. You want all of us. Help us to give ourselves to you who gave yourself for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'll say yes to my Lord. I'll say yes to my Lord. He's done great things. He's done great things. I'll say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. I'll say yes to my Lord. Or oh, I'll say yes to my Lord. 
He's done great things. He's done great things. I say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. Well, he brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Put my soul on straight street. Gave me the strength to fight. He's done great things. He's done great things. I say yes, yes, yes to the Lord. One more time. Oh, I say yes to my Lord. I say yes to my Lord. He's done great things. He's done. I say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. He brought me out of darkness. Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Put my soul on straight street. Gave me the strength to fight. He's done great things. He's done. Oh, I say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. Amen. Give God a hand praise if you'll say yes to him. You're here today with every head bowed, every eye closed. And you say, you know what? I've been one of the people. But I'm ready to be one of the disciples. Or I've been a disciple, but I haven't done all that I could or all that I should. But I understand now the cost of true discipleship. I'm going to ask those of you who feel that way, and that this message meant something to you, and you feel God was speaking to your heart. I'm going to ask if you would just stand where you've been sitting, and I'm going to ask... I'm going to have pray for you in a special way. God bless you. If God is speaking to you. He wants to use you at a greater level. If you don't know him in the pardon of your sin, he can save you. And if you're already saved, he wants to take you to another level of him. I just want you to believe God. And when you stand, you're saying to the devil and to God, I want, I'm willing to deny myself, take up my cross, and follow him. Father, in the name of Jesus, these that are standing where they were sitting, Lord God, it takes guts to leave the ruts. It takes guts to say, it's me. It's me, me oh Lord, that's standing in the need of prayer. It's not my brother, not my sister, not my mother, not, but it's me, Lord. I got to do better. I want to fulfill my call to discipleship. And I pray right now that you turn the searchlight of heaven on their soul. You find anything, anything, anything that shouldn't be, take it out. Take it out, Lord. Strengthen us. We want to be right. We want to be saved. We want to be whole. We put it in your hands in Jesus' name. Those of you that will, whether you're standing or sitting, repeat after me and say, Dear Jesus, I need your help. I want to be used by you. I come too far to turn around now. Take me all the way. 99 and a half won't do. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God a praise right now. You may be seated. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Following service, you may be seated. Following service, if you're here and you've never repented of your sins, you've never been baptized in Jesus' name, you've never been filled with his spirit, I believe that evangelist Christian will stay and will help anyone. And if we need to put on our gloves and masks, we'll do whatever it takes to pray for you. Can you say Amen. I don't want anybody to say, well, I, I couldn't get prayer because I didn't have a glove or mask or anything, and I didn't want to get in, in danger. Well, number one, we'll do whatever it takes. We'll do whatever it takes. We have gloves. We have masks. We just want to see you saved. Can you say amen? Amen, amen. And we believe that God wants to change your life for the better. If you've been blessed today, put your hands together and give God some praise. 
we put everything into God's hands today, we want to remind you uh, that uh, we do not have uh, Bible class this week because of the council, uh, but uh, uh, all right, uh, Bible class because of the council, but uh, we are having virtual services uh, over the uh, council, Ohio District Council's uh, Facebook page, and it's my understanding also on the Ohio District Council's web page. There'll be some great speakers that will be speaking every night. The schedule is on the churches, our churches. Uh, 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 Facebook uh, page, and we'd be happy to share those with you. Uh, normally, the council starts on Tuesday, but because we're trying to give so many people a chance, uh, there's a, uh, this council is going to start on Sunday night and uh, run through, uh, uh, I believe, Friday night or Saturday morning. And so I hope that uh, you can tune in and be blessed. Uh, Sister Jones, I believe, has a presentation. All right. That's all right. That's all right. Bless the Lord. Oh, wow. We just want to honor you. Oh, wow. Look at that. We love you, and may God continue to bless you through your years to God. Sister Faith, can you come up, please? Oh, wow. And have the honor. She's been my right left hand. Oh, she's been, she's been the right and left hand, hand, huh? Right. <laughs> so I just want her to read wow. this. Wow. I did not. You surprised me. Bless them both, Lord. Pastor Daryl W. Cummings, in your 40 years of honoring ministry under God, Bethlehem Apostolic Temple, Shiloh Apostolic Temple, oh, wow. Ohio District Council, and Community Service, we honor you, and God bless you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. I'm very honored. Can I get both of y'all to stand here and maybe take a All right, all right. Can you get stand here? I don't know if somebody take a picture for me. Sister Hannah, take a picture for me. Here, you can put your mask on. We'll all be, uh, all the social distancing. And Stand closer to you, all right? Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. All right. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. We're uh, shocked and honored and appreciate it so very much. Let us all stand. Let everybody say. Let everybody say, let everybody say, amen. amen, hallelujah, amen. amen, thank you Jesus, say it over, amen, amen. I want to uh, uh, take time to thank uh, Miss uh, Heidi Smith for being with us. She was invited by Sister Pearson to be with us. Miss Smith, amen. Give God a hand praise for Miss Smith. We thank you so very much for coming and being with us. If there's anything that we could do, please let us know. We're very glad to have you with us on today. God bless you. You're welcome. I'm going to ask uh, Evangelist Christian if she would come and dismiss us. Amen. And uh, uh, let's uh, keep looking up. Let's pray for one another, let's love one another, and let's expect great things from the Lord. Let's receive Evangelist Christian with a hearty praise the Lord. It's good to see people who were able to come to Sunday school. Good to see some children that we hadn't seen in a while. Amen. And we're praying for God to continue to bless them. Evangelist Christian.
point in time with our hearts and minds on you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You're dismissed.